They do like their incredibly large buildings in Aperture Science. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Um, just like probably I'm more than we're gonna get through. I don't know exactly to enhance, but uh, um. We're gonna play. We're gonna play this till ten o'clock. So it's only gonna be a couple more hours, and that's probably not enough to finish this. Uh, okay, Dragon Wolf Tamer, I'd like to see you there. Uh, right. So those who used to don't know the the uh, finale of Portal One was basically defeating Glados with the computer up there, and we did that by um, causing bits of her to break off and putting them into the incinerator, which is why she made those statements. So now we're <laughs> and we save that turret. Nope, we can't. Oh, right, I think we got to go this way. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Okay, now we have the ability to create both portals. So let's pop one of them up there. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Alright, so... Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to think she's a bit to bitter. Somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do and only 60 more years to do it. More <laughs> or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Right out this way. Get rid of that. Alright, on to chamber 19. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Probably a good thing. Do you know what? I'm, I'm starting to think she sounds a little bit bitter. You know, as if, you know, she wasn't happy with what we did. I've been ill all week, so you're 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 actually lucky. I was I was fifty fifty to um, call this off um, today, but I'm feeling well enough to do it. So I apologise if I do sound a bit coldy or I'm Sorry, not thinking as fast as I usually I do, really or indeed I'm not feeling as thinking as slow as I usually do. Complete. Oh, good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room, room with, with deadly, deadly lasers. lasers. I do enjoy GLaDOS, I've got to be honest with you. Right, so we've got to get the power in there. But first of all, we got to get where the power is coming from, which is there. Okay, so that one's fairly simple. Right. Okay. It's slightly more complex than that. Uh, 
There we go. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. What's uh, on the walls here? Thermal disruptor beam. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Oh, definitely vengeful. Yes. I am computer, this hear me roar. This involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. No, come on, space was to talk. Yep, that still works. Okay, right. Fairly obvious what we got to do there. I knew we weren't going to be rid of him. These work basically like that. They redirect the beam to where you point it. And that's all we need. Okay, we start on the button. Right, so we need something to press on the button, but fortunately, we have this cube. Of course. Right, got it. If we, because the cube here is on white, so we can put a portal underneath it again. Now, if we do. Blue and, and oh, that was disconcerting. And orange underneath that. You can pick that up. Well done. Put it on there. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible um, person. Glados sings the song at the end of the original portal. Um, the turrets sing the song at the end of this one. And if we don't make it tonight, and we probably won't make it tonight, I suggest you go and look it up, because it is a very, very, very good song. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Wasn't she bitter? Got to be honest with you, she's got yeah a lot on her mind, really, hasn't she? Right. First thing we're going to need is that, so let's make sure we've got that. And we're going to need to put it up there somewhere. Can we? Yes. That looks like horrible death, really, doesn't it? Try moving that down a little bit. There we go. Gap to fall through or indeed off. Okay, and we need to loom, uh, light up there. And that'll do it. And the other one is much simpler. This one we need to... Take this beam and make it go into. Where does it need to go into? Into there. So if we put one portal there, let's say there, and one portal there. Congratulations. That's Not the trick. The test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Well, I don't think she actually sees it as trying to kill Shell. It's more um, 
this is how she tests. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think she actually... Um, oh she's probably there thinking, you know, why did she do this? You know, all I was doing was testing to you make a new gun. You these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying oh, the facility. Yeah. Definitely bitchy. Definitely bitchy. And there we go. Ooh. Okay, so first things first, we have a laser beam there. Where do we need to send it? Ah. So if we put blue there and orange there. That doesn't actually help us. So let's actually get over there and try it from over there. How long is this stream going to go on to? Well, we're going to be playing Portal 2 until probably about uh, 10 o'clock. And then we're going to play some Minecraft after. Right, now we're over here. We can get ourselves a ball. And jump on the platform. Ball, cube. Then I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. And for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. What time is it where I am at? It is 20 minutes past 8 uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Do I accept your challenge, Melody Flower? Let's have a quick scroll back and see if I can see your challenge. How about the competition, Simon? If we both manage to stay awake till the after party is over, I will make you a drawing. If not, you'll have to make me a drawing. Okay. Fair enough. That's... I will take you up on that challenge. I'm sorry about the lack of sound. It cuts out when I tab out. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. <laughs> they could not. Good luck. <laughs> I missed Glados. Get rid of that. Right. What we have to do here, by the looks of it, is release a cube and then catch it in midair. So let's get over to where the button is. Whee! Got it! Whoa, first time. Right, let me put Here's that on the button. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Well, okay, the all I can say there is whatever you guys do, nobody fart. Great, well, I look forward to seeing you there, uh, um, Dragon Wolf Tamer. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. I feel so sorry for you. I really do. Oh, okay. This one looks fun. Oh, missed both of them. That was so clever of me. 
Let's try that again. So we'll put an orange one up there and a blue one there. So all we need to do is put an orange one up as we go around this time. And yes! And out we go. And over. And down. Okay, so, what's this do? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Just grab one of these bits as it comes towards us. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Right, we need to get over there, which we can do like that. That's good. Where did my button, where did my cube go? Oh, I got rid of all of it, did I? we use that. No, we won't. Let's press the button again. Tell you what, let's put the portals back in and then press the button again. Uh, actually, that probably do. Let's try that. If we're lucky, the cube will just land on the button and away we go. Oh, apparently the stream is offline. Yes, works. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you, and I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Actually, thinking of uh, The Sims, Laura suggested I do a, a review of the, uh, the new Sims 4 expansion pack. Apparently... Everyone else is just not sarcastic enough. I don't know. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete oh, the Oh, bitchy, 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 bitchy. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Yeah, this is the companion cube, which in the last game we were told um, to take good care of. There we go. I do have The Sims 4. I've never actually played it. I have it. I've not played it. Alright, it looks like we're going to need to get up there first. So, where can we drop? We can drop here, that like that, and down we go. Whee! And then we can do the same thing, but come out of this one. There we go. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken, and don't take anything with you. They give us the opportunity to take the companion cube with us, shall we? Yeah, let's go and take the companion cube with us. 
I want to see what happens. Something sarcastic, I've no doubt. I wonder if we can make the jump without that there. Nope, we can't. Right, okay. So let's go and do this again. Push this over as far as we can. See if we can pick it up. See you later, Chrissy Toff. Have a good time. Right, okay, that's as far as we're going with that. Let's try that again. Right, so let's see if we can pick it up now. Not quite. Okay, let's move on. Hey, yes, good point. That will do nicely, won't it? Alright, so there we go. One companion cube. I think that one was about to say, I love you. <laughs> they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Well done, Firebolt Meg. You win, the chance to say, I win, I finished, in caps, on the chat. Was it good for you? This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Okay, so oh, no. the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. And <laughs> there. if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Right, I have one of those. We go and get that. And jump over here. There we go, that's that. And now, hopefully, we should be able to get out. Uh, what race would you like to be in Middle Earth? can't remember the name of that. I'd like to be the, the... Oh yes, the Ents. And uh, the idea of people being able to stop and think. Just stop and think. Seems like a nice thing to me. Either that or an orc in human resources. One or the other. Right. So, moving on. Chapter 3, The Return. There we go. And I can honestly say, I lost. Okay. Why not? And why not indeed? Guessing we do something like this. 